you brought up definition of art, which is like the ultimate yeah, yeah, yeah. terrible rat hole to get into, <laughs> right? And But the reason, though, I, I think this is important to the conversation because you did bring up um, this idea that people have about you can't judge things objectively, right? And like that is just one of the biggest mistakes that modern Western culture has made, like across the whole culture that's had like incredible ramifications, right? So like just just as a designer of something, like for example, a video game, it's your job to like know what's right and have a strong opinion about that, right? And somehow people don't even understand that. And anyway, so so the reason, you know, one of the reasons why arguing about the definition of art has become so unproductive is that we're actually many decades into this cultural decision we made where some people in academia decided to redefine art in some way that was historically, you know, different from the way the word had historically been understood. And then, and then they redefined it several times to the point where like nobody really agrees on what it kind of means and then and then also nobody cares right so you know if you go if you go to the museum of contemporary art in san francisco which is a very high per capita income place where people are supposedly very sophisticated there's nobody in that fucking building right like nobody cares about what's being hung on the walls um and like, again, the, the same way that the people who threw the RTS off the cliff never stopped to question about what we're doing, we don't culturally stop and think, like, well, maybe this definition of art that we've come up with isn't very good. And I think there's there's forces that cause us not to do that because um, because the idea of art that we have now is like, well, anybody can do it and it's all good. and you're not if if you think particular art is bad that's just your opinion man right and like all these things are a little bit true but the problem is we take them we assume they're a hundred percent true um which leads to a, a devalued definition of the thing and the problem there are multiple problems with that but one of those problems is that new people who would be artists like how do you if you're a little kid and you're gonna do some cool art thing when you grow up how do you like figure out that that's what you're doing it's like you somehow absorb all this stuff in your life and it, and, and you realize that this is what you want to do right and if we have degraded that mechanism to the point where a lot of people just don't have that trajectory anymore just it doesn't happen for them because they walk through the san francisco museum of contemporary art and they're like this sucks and is stupid and they leave um like we're sabotaging our own ability to make good things right and so i don't know that's that's just a rant on the side but it applies to video games i think because so you know the, the things that you were said i think are, are directly applicable to this like um, whether somebody wants to call them design or art or craft, right? I'm a little bit ambivalent as to which word to use there, though. But it's like, look, I've got some ideas of what to do that's interesting. They're different from what has been done and what people are currently doing. And like, let's try doing this thing. That's that's the most, that's like the lifeblood of actual creativity in in a like let's just say in games for example right that's like what keeps games alive and they're just we don't seem to appreciate that enough and there just don't seem to be enough people doing it anymore which is kind of scary like you know back back in 2008 2009 2010 when like indie games were kind of blowing up again as a thing cuz we got so much more distribution, you know, Steam and all these places, Xbox Live and all that. Um, everybody was like, oh, my God, this is going to make games so much more creative again. And like, well, fast forward 12 years and they're not really that much more creative. Like. Everybody's just sort of still doing the same stuff. <clears throat> and. Uh, 
it's a little bit of a bummer. Like, why? Why? Why are we so bad at like doing new and interesting things? I don't know. Um, now, it's it, you know, I don't wish to say that it's all bad because, like, obviously, the fact that distribution is easier to attain for smaller players now than it used to be opens the door in a way that it wasn't open before to doing new and interesting things that then players are able to recognize as new and interesting and it catches on and then people appreciate it and it like becomes a successful thing. Like that is possible now in a way that it wasn't really uh, for a while. Although honestly, the period during which it wasn't possible is kind of short. Um, but like very few people take advantage of that opportunity and it seems like a huge waste. 